We're in California tonight, somewhere outside of Los Angeles, a stone's throw from Hollywood, not too far from Sunset and Vine, a fitting spot to check out six unsigned bands seeking fame and fortune on the MTV basement tapes. Practice, practice, practice. Finding a manager who can find his cut to 10%. Riding home in a van at 4 a.m. and giving each other the flu. Working a day job to scrape up the bucks for a good amplifier. Hey, if they survived all those games, how can they leave their video in the basement? That's why MTV created the Basement Tapes. To give new bands a chance at a major recording contract. The best equipment available. And maybe even stardom. And you vote them in. This opportunity is knocking right now on the MTV Basement Tapes. I'm Martha Quinn, and you're watching the MTV Basement Tapes, the show that makes you the talent scout. Now, each month, by now you know how it works, we show you six unsigned bands from around the country. You watch the videos, and then you vote for your favorite by calling a special 900 number that we'll show you later on tonight. Tonight's winner gets a complete line of Casio instruments to outfit the whole band, including the Casio CZ-101 synthesizer and the CK-200 keyboard. And, of course, they come back on February 9th to compete against our other five finalists for the grand prize, an Epic Records contract, and a new video. Now, at the top of the show, I mentioned that we're in the Los Angeles area, so that means that we could have gone to the Hollywood Bowl, or to Disneyland, or to Man's Chinese Theater, but instead, we chose to visit the basement of a guy who brought Billy the Mountain from being merely a geological phenomenon to a rock and roll hero. I am talking about our co-host for the night, Frank Zappa. That's right, Martha. It was mostly rock in the case of Billy. <laughs> Thank you for having us in the basement. And since uh, since you're here tonight to be the co-host, why don't we start off with our first basement tape band? And they are actually from back Moving right the along, our second basement tape has been described as the zelig of incredibly short, low-budget films. Yesterday was Pearl Harbor Day, and this next video, Love and War from Bontan Roulet, features file footage from World War II, and they intercut it with black and white footage of the band and they're wearing 40 style clothes and uniforms that you'll see and they shot the video with a Bolex camera and Tri-X film which is the same kind of camera and film that they actually used in the 40s. Uh, another sidelight here. The name Bantan Roule was actually the name of an old rhythm and blues record that I found one time. I don't own it so I couldn't tell you who actually sang the thing but um, there was an old song with that title and I wonder whether or not they ever saw it or heard it. Anyway, to recreate that bombed-out look of post-war Europe, the band shot some scenes in front of a redevelopment area on the north side of Pittsburgh. So don't adjust your TVs. This is not movie tone news. It's <laughs> Love and War from Bantan Roule. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you this important bulletin from the United Press. Flash, Washington. The White House announces Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Oh. 
just want some chewing gum. I told them you were going to bring them some chocolate when you came home from the war. At Bon Town Roulette with Love and War, the band is from Pittsburgh, and one night they were playing at a local club in Pittsburgh, and they were generous enough to let an out-of-town musician come up on stage and jam with them, and the crowd seemed to like him enough, and the guy's name was Bruce Springsteen. That's right. The video battle of the bands reaches across the border to Canada right after this. Tonight's edition of the MTV Basement Tapes is sponsored by Casio, by the Pepsi-Cola Company, by Tampax Tampons, and by Carefree Sugarless Gum from Nabisco.